to see the long, long road. Interesting facts about famous people. The 10 greatest Western TV shows of all time. I've covered many Western movies and actors of all types on my channel. Today I'm going to tackle the small screen Western genre offerings. We all grew up watching the boob tube. Westerns were one of the genres on offer, especially from the 50s and 60s and beyond. Some of our favourite actors from the big screen started here. The likes of Clint Eastwood, Steve McQueen, for example. And some big screen actors have migrated over to the small screen, like Kevin Costner. I've looked into the rating sites and other references and come up with this list. As always, it's not my personal opinion. I'm sure you will let me know in the comments what you think, who's missing and who shouldn't be here. If you like this video, take a look at my channel for many more. The link is in the description. Apologies for any mispronunciation of names. Wanted, Dead or Alive, 1957-59. to This show started Steve McQueen's career, back in the 50s, when westerns were more popular than today's sitcoms. Any actor's dream was to become the lead of a western show or movie. It was also every TV actor's dream to eventually transition to the big screen. But more often than not, that didn't work out, unless you were Steve McQueen. Dead or Alive was about a bounty hunter that would move from town to town, taking out criminals, quick on the draw, and an expert survivalist. No one could stop Josh Randall when he was on your trail. A fun serialised black and white western of old that helped launch the career of one of Hollywood's most iconic actors. What's the matter? She loves sick. Now I'll take her to a doctor. Rawhide, 1959 to 1965, a classic 50s black and white western. Rawhide was the first to show Clint Eastwood as a cowboy during his early years. The show centres around a cattle drive making its way across the country, led by trail boss Gil Favor, Eric Fleming, and his trusted assistant, Rowdy Yates. Along their journey, the cattle drivers came across a whole array of various characters and experiences, quick-paced and compelling storytelling. Rawhide delivered many great episodes over its long run. Hell on Wheels, 2011 to 2016. Building the first transcontinental railroad. Hell on Wheels depicts the difficulties and tribulations of those who gave their time and lives to bring together the vast lands of America. Led by Anson Mount, the gruff Civil War veteran turned pit boss, Cullen Bohannon. The show has a wide cast of fascinating characters. Hell on Wheels is unlike the black and white serial westerns of the past, taking a more grown-up look into the world of the Old West, depicting just how wild it was before it was subdued by the railroads. Westworld 2016. Westworld may be considered more sci-fi than Western, but it has some of the best Western storytelling in recent years, full of many familiar Western tropes, like a man in black and murderous outlaws. Westworld kept things fresh with its sci-fi spin. Westworld is a playground for the wealthy elite, a theme park full of cyborgs made up in a western facade for the amusement of their human guests, with detailed storytelling and impressive twists throughout Westworld, has some of the best television of this century so far. Justified, 2010 to 2015. No one's as charming and smooth as they gun you down than Kentucky U.S. Marshal Raylan Givens, Timothy Oliphant. This contemporary take on westerns swaps horses for trucks and outlaws for drug dealers. However, keeps the cowboy hats and all the lawlessness of the western genre. Returning to his hometown of Harland, Kentucky, Marshall Givens deals with an old nemesis turned gang leader, Boyd Crowder, Walton Goggins, together with his criminal alcoholic father, Raymond Barry. Tense shootouts and a range of affable characters on both sides of the law, living up to its western roots. 1883, 2021 to 22. The Old West, where the land is hard and the people are tough. 
set 150 years before Yellowstone, 1883 follows the Dutton family, along with a group of European immigrants, as they traverse the American West in pursuit of a place to call home. The origin story of the Dutton family is a powerful story, depicting the trials the family had to face to live free. This journey will be dangerous all the way to Oregon. I believe in you, and I believe in that boy, and I believe in our daughter. And that's Gunsmoke, 1955 to 1975. One of the longest running television shows of all time. The quintessential Western TV show. Following a huge cast of characters that stumble in and out of the rough Western town of Dodge City, Gunsmoke was a wide stage of Western tales to showcase the genre. Marshal Matt Dillon, James Arness, kept things in line. The town of Dodge City had plenty of trouble over the 20 seasons that the show ran, with a moral and a conclusion of each episode. Gunsmoke set the standard for all westerns to follow. Yellowstone, 2018. Don't mess with the Dutton family. This contemporary western depicts the Dutton family fighting to keep their lands, led by patriarch John Dutton. Kevin Costner. The Duttons have a bevy of people vying for their lands, from land developers to opportunistic business people. Each actor brings a wealth of depth to their character. The Dutton family will grab you from the beginning as they struggle to keep their land and family together. You can be sure of one thing, the Duttons won't go down without a fight. Deadwood, 2004 to 2006. Loosely based on real events, Deadwood reveals the harsh lives of the people on the frontier. Actors Ian McShane as the foul-mouthed bar owner, Al Swearinger, and the always on-edge sheriff, Seth Bullock, Timothy Oliphant. Deadwood has a more mature and realistic look into the world of the West, focusing more on the humanity of the time rather than the mystical elements of quick-drawed jewels and lovable outlaws. Thanks for your time today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate likes, shares and subscribers. Don't forget to hit the notification button to get my new videos. Please visit my Facebook page for new information on my latest videos. Drop me your comments. Bye for now. See you again soon. Please take time to take a look at my Facebook page for new information.